Right. This lady, Angie Yen, from Brisbane. So she goes in to have her tonsils removed last month, April. 10 days, 27 year old by the way, 10 days after her tonsillectomy. Yeah, ouch, CJ. Are you pulling the ouch face? Yeah. Yeah, so, that's the ouch, ouch face. Yeah, or no. it could be the poo face. Uh, so 10 days after I her face. tonsillectomy, she <laughs> woke up, she got in the shower, and she started singing. And then she was like, hmm. She was really shocked by what she heard. What did because she hear? her normal singing voice was not normal anymore. And it had a slight twang. So she calls her friend and she basically started speaking. And the friend was like, oh, my goodness. This lady, Angie Yen, was now speaking in an Irish accent. Out the blue. Get out of here. Out of the blue. <laughs> so... <laughs> Her friend, and so when she was singing, it was like singing in an Irish accent too. She's like, "Wait, what?" Is there an um, example of this? Yeah, I'll I'll put her on. We'll, what's we'll she doing? The what's she doing? The river dance in the shower while she was singing? No, Not by any chance. So the friend that you she sure? called, like, like sent her some links, um, and it was about foreign accent syndrome, FAS. Foreign accent syndrome. Yeah. Have you? Okay, and have you never heard of this before. I have. I have. And I know you have. <laughs> the other two, it's like this is blowing your minds. No. Yeah, I've. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I thought she was like pulling my leg. I like, have heard this, of this. This is bullshit. But I've heard of it more so after like brain surgery or like not just a tonsillectomy. Like that's what was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> so brain surgery, it's like. I come out and I'm Irish. So, I mean, I, oh, you've buddy, heard people, buddy, they've woken up and they're Jamaican or something. Like they just yeah. have yeah. completely different accents. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah. I haven't. So, she went into, no, she went into the hospital because she was really worried because in some of the information that it was sent, uh, it said it can be brought on by a stroke or you're about to have a stroke or something like that. So, she went to hospital. Everything was fine. Like, all her tests were fine. So they can, were like, can we pause for a second? You, so if you put on a foreign accent without you trying, it's a good sign that you're going to have a stroke. Apparently, it's a sign that you might be getting, might get a stroke or something. So stop doing the Filipino accent, Ernie. All right. <laughs> stop doing it. Something like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, yeah. So she went to hospital. They said, no, everything's fine. And... Uh, Basically, she then created a TikTok to sort of a TikTok journey of what was happening um, because she had heard about this as well before. Um, and people that have had it say a lot of people laugh at them, say that it's fake, like they're faking it. And she's like, it's actually yeah, real. Like me, I'll, I'll be saying you're faking it. Yeah, no, like she's like, it's actually real. Um, <laughs> the, like the doctors and the hospital staff basically said maybe it'll just pass like maybe it'll just disappear do you know but yeah so i actually heard her on the radio the other day and then you sent me this oh she's gonna have mris and stuff and blood tests and all this and that but let's listen to her can i, can I just ask what what guys what do you think is the weirdest combination of nasho versus accent combo russian well, to any caribbean <laughs> yeah, that would be weird. To any Caribbean. Because <sighs> I, I saw an Asian Maltese person and that kind of freaked me out for a little bit. Yeah, we spoke about that. Because I was like, uh, I was like, well, like, that doesn't look right. But like, um, yeah. But yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Russian. I think any person any. that's in an area... Like a harsh, the accent that you, a harsh Germanic sounding language to a Caribbean, which is like a smooth flowing, like completely relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? I say Caribbean. I say Caribbean, but a lot of people don't. They like, especially in Australia, I feel like they only resonate with Caribbean. So occasionally I'll say that, but. I, but I, I would naturally say Caribbean. You want to have a listen? All right. And I've never been to Ireland before. I spent the whole day yesterday 
freaking out about why this is happening to me and I went to the hospital and I also called my specialist and asked them why this is happening and they couldn't provide any answers. They just told me to just sit tight and let the body heal after my um, tonsil surgery last Monday about nine to ten days ago and at this stage I don't think it's gonna get better because this morning I woke up with an Aussie accent and I was so happy I called one of my best friends and I told her that I have my accent back but during that phone call in the space of about five to ten minutes okay all right so you know accents yeah your mouth the way that you say words change the mm -hmm. like your mouth ex yeah mm -hmm. so everything had to change this right yeah, this is the most confusing part makes... about this whole thing to me like because i've i've as i said like i've i've heard of examples of this for many many years i think i was a kid the first time i heard this kind of thing it makes no sense to me like it's not, it's not an accent isn't either. like a, a neurological thing or because your tonsil or because your voice cords are set up in a certain way you have a, it's literally a habit like you're conditioned into an accent yeah so I don't understand how you suddenly wake up with another, like, I, what I would want to know about every person who's had this condition is the accent that they've woken up with. Have they ever done that accent in their life? Or is it they've <laughs> never tried to do the accent? They've never, like, inti uh, imitated it or anything, and then they've just Look, suddenly woken up with it? Because that, I to mean, me... Every like, person on planet Earth has probably the case, said... There'll be a lot of people waking up with the Indian accent. Oh, so everyone! Everyone's tried the Indian accent at least once. Well, what? No, I was going to say everyone on this planet's probably said "top of the morning" to you or something like that, haven't they? So no. I'm presuming she'd have done like a little, you know, because uh, it's it's like as Dev said, well. like you've got to change the way, you've got to change your intonation, you've got to change. Your mouth has the to way be your wider. Mouth moves everything. Like if you've yeah. never, if you don't even, like I don't think I could wake up with a syndrome because I can't do an accent. So I don't know how my body would all of a sudden learn to do it overnight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But according to Healthline, it is a hundred percent real. Um, it's very rare. There, the first documented case was nineteen oh seven. Some examples include an Aussie woman developing a French sounding accent after a car ac accident. An American woman uh, in Arizona woke up one day with a mix of an Australian, British and Irish accent after what? falling asleep. British, Australian, British, Irish. I don't know if they were at different times. Australian, British and Irish accents after falling asleep with a headache the night before. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't just affect English speakers. Interesting. It can have happened to anyone and has been documented in cases and languages all over the world. Because, all right, see this syndrome, this farce, right? So if there was a Trinidad, Trini, Trinidad. Uh, Trinidadian? Trinidadian and Tobogganan. <laughs> what are they? Trinidad How do you say and Tobago. Tobogganan? Trinidad and uh, Tobago. Uh, just just I don't know. Tobago. Tobago. Yeah. They say Trini accent? Is that right? Or is that wrong? True. It says it here, Trini accent. Yeah. Anyway, so if they're speaking in their accent and then they wake up with an Irish accent, yeah. their mouths have yeah. to be totally... Like, this is spinning me out. Like, like this is this is so how... It, I, they, they pronounce words differently. Differently. I think the thing that confuses me with this one more so is in my mind like i fully believe it's a real thing i don't think they're yeah. putting it on and they're trying to do it but in my mind i could see it being there's there's something neurologically that's changed they Why already is? have the capability to do this accent right. and it's just changed them now they just do it without meaning to and they can't not do it it's just yeah that switch in their it. head that's normal <laughs> yeah. Yeah. to the the accent has just flipped and it says, but look, this is that, what makes this syndrome so puzzling because the symptoms affect the entire patterning of your phonetic system. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. So this, this happens to you guys. You end up with fast. You have a tonsil, your tonsillitis, and then you tonsillitis, tonsillitis, <laughs> and then you get a vasectomy. 
<laughs> what is the accent? Vasectomy. Oh, it's a vasectomy? A tonsillectomy? Yeah. That's, that's a you bad doctor if they, get, if they make you have a vasectomy after tonsillectomy. <laughs> <laughs> they picked mate, up someone all right, else's file. All right, mate. I'll, I'll so be waking uh, up with a very a angry accent mate, if they give me a vasectomy. Mate, I ordered my tonsils out. With my tonsils as well. I ordered my tonsils out. Not of. <laughs> I'd be like... <laughs> um, so, what accent do you want to wake up to? What is your accent of choice? Um, Kiwi... I wouldn't mind Irish. French Italian? French Italian? Wow. Yeah. What's French Italian? What does that sound like? Like like a French accent or Italian accent. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. My number one would be. I thought you meant the accent of a French person living in Italy. (laughs) Yeah, I I thought it was a French. Because you said. That's just confusing. But you said it confusing. I was, I was talking about <laughs> a, 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 accents I would like to wake up with yeah. would be either a French or an Italian. You didn't say that. You, you said missed out the, you missed out the, the yeah. key word or. Or. <laughs> <laughs> well then, <laughs> let me clarify for everyone here: yeah. French or Italian? Emma, what were you saying? And maybe Indian. Uh, mine would be out. South African or she, Kiwi. I mean, she's changed like four times already, so. <laughs> <laughs> you, just like a funeral song. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think. What would you? What would you do? I'd go Australian. Um, Aussie. What? Because to me, it's the least hostile global accent. <laughs> this is true. Make a bet, mate. <laughs> but I think I mean, pe- people just generally like, like if if you have an Aussie accent, it just other people, other international people, just sort of smile like ah. Oh, Aussie. <laughs> that's because that's we're great people. <laughs> I, the yeah, top, the top right. 10 of 2000, since 2021 accents, sexist accents, uh, Irish, Italian, Scottish, French, Australian, English, Swedish, and Spanish. That's changed because it used to be Kiwi. A big side word. <laughs>